Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to Las Colinas Golf Resort here in Spain. It is, of course, it's the week of the US Masters at Augusta. And this week, the videos have been themed around that golf course and that tournament. Today is no different. We're talking about short game and we're going to be looking at some of the shots that the golfers are going to face when they miss the greens. Will they take the high route? Will they take the low route? And we're going to be giving you some things that you can do next time you play, which I think can help you get up and down more often. So yes, this is the absolutely stunning Las Colinas Golf Resort here in Spain. And this week, of course, it's the US Masters. It's the first major of the year. So these videos this week were all themed around about the Masters. And we're talking in this video again about short game. And the Masters has some incredibly tricky greens. It has some incredibly tricky runoffs. And the golfer that will come out on top this week will have to deal with these situations. Even if they're playing exceptionally well, they will miss some greens. They will have to get up and down. So you can see the shot I'm faced with. I've got quite a bit of this kind of rough area, this runoff, before I get to the green. Now, the first shot I'm going to hit here is with my 60 degree wedge. So let's go ahead and hit that. Now I'm going to try and land this on the green and I'm going to try and use, if I can, a little bit of backspin to help me stop that ball by the flag. And that's landed pretty much where I wanted to. It's rolled out, it might even go in. Okay, well, I'm definitely not going to hit that shot again. So that couldn't have come out any better. I'm going to put that club away. Definitely going to put that club away. And I'm now going to select my eight iron. Now, using my eight iron, I'm obviously going to need to play a very different type of shot. I'm going to need that ball to land somewhere different. So let's go ahead and play it with an eight iron. And it's onto the green, and that should be pretty close. So that one just missed. It's actually rolled, uh, it's rolled a good 10 to 12 feet past. But you can see there, there was two incredibly different ways of playing that shot. The aerial route with my 60 and the low route with my eight iron. Now, which is correct? There is no correct way to play it. It has to be based on you. What are you better at playing? What do you feel like the lie dictates you want to hit? What kind of situation are you in? Are you trying to push? Are you trying to, uh, you know, you're trying to defend a little bit? The key thing and the point that we're trying to make in this video is that whatever the type of shot is that you choose, you have to visualize that shot. You have to pick exactly where you want to land the ball. So that second shot with my eight iron, I was actually picking a spot on the ground around about here. So this is where I was wanting the ball to land. I visualized it with a very low flight landing here, shooting a bit right, bending up onto the green and then rolling out to the flag. With my 60, I was really visualizing the ball landing somewhere here, so just onto the green. So the key message for this video really is that the shot that you choose is down to you. It's gonna be based on you know, what you play or how you play them in practice, you know, which are you better at? As I said, what does the lie dictate? But once you've made that shot, you really have to have seen that shot in your mind's eye before you execute it. The rule I want you to go by from this video forward, if you haven't seen it, you can't execute it. So how am I expecting that ball to get right by the hole if I've never actually seen that ball in my mind's eye? I've not predicted that flight, I've not predicted the bounce, the rollout, the break, all these kind of things. So the golfers this week who come out on top will have a fantastic short game, technique wise, of course they will but their imagination, their visualization will be absolutely fantastic. And you'll often see them over the golf ball. You know, they're making their practice things this way. And you'll often see them have that real distinctive pause, that five, 10 second pause, when they're looking at the target, they're trying to see the flight, they're trying to see the land zone, they're trying to see the brakes. How is that ball gonna spin? Is it gonna roll out? All these kind of things. So this video is not to tell you which shot to hit, is to tell you that once you've chosen that shot, really be specific about how you believe that ball is gonna get from A to B, because if you can see it, you can hit it. And that is the rule I want you to go with from this video forward. You might even get lucky like that one and hold the first one. So uh, definitely the first one is closer than the second one. Obviously I would take that first one, but probably from this situation, I'd probably take that second one as well. So US Masters, fantastic week. Uh, I'm certainly gonna be watching the final rounds, uh, seeing who comes out on top and who takes that green jacket, but just keep around that short game. 
you'll be surprised at how many of them really start to focus on their landing spot as opposed to the end result, which is obviously the flag. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box down there. There's a like button and there's also a button over here. Click that if you would like to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Four videos coming each and every week, hopefully helping you play some better golf and enjoy your golf a little bit more. Thank you to Las Colinas Golf Resort for hosting me. Fantastic venue. If you do get a chance to play here, I would highly recommend it. Fantastic venue, practice, course, accommodation, absolutely superb. Make it one to play. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.